Hey everybody. Uh, happy Monday, or whenever you're watching this. I'm going to do the weekly reading and I'm going to use my animal tarot. The one card came out already, so what do we need for this week? Another one, want, oh, two more want to come out. I am, this Monday, I am feeling off. I, oh, these glasses look dirty. I'm feeling a bit off right now. Um, I haven't had a Meniere's disease episode since COVID, since COVID starts, just before COVID. And uh, today I was starting to feel a little like, whoa. And uh, it could be barometric pressure. It could be that. But I think it has to do with the recalibration of my system. I went out this weekend. I went out on, on uh, Saturday. I, I had a lot of fun. But it brought up a lot of stuff in different areas. Like it brought up stuff within relationships. It brought up stuff within um, uh, the healing of my sexual trauma that I had. Like it, some new elements of that came up. And um, yeah, I just feel like I was, <laughs> I was going through a lot. I, I've wrapped up some old cycles. And then, um, and then some stuff is still there, like new levels of healing have happened. So it, it could just simply be a whole recalibration of my physical sy sy system. Because when you go through um, healing of emotional wounds, um, and then the healing needs to happen also on a cellular level too. So feel like I'm going all through all that right now. So as I said, I'm a little off. Um, but I was drawn, I, I wanted to try to do some yoga. I wasn't too sure how I was going to feel. I'm not like too dizzy, just like my stomach is a little, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I thought before that, I'm going to pull some cards. So the first card is the badger. This came up. Uh, it was either last week for one of the readings I did for, maybe it was for someone else. I'm not too sure. So the badger self-reliance and practical pursuit. So I feel like this week it is, there's just going to be stuff that we, we need to get down. We need to direct energy to that. Um, it, there, my guides are giving me the image of little check boxes, like check, cross that off, check cross that off. So it's a lot of, uh, we need to be in our masculine side of getting stuff done. And it makes sense. Like we're in our work week, right? Um, but that's where the energy is. Get stuff done, get stuff done. We'll see what else comes of that. And we'll link all the cards together. Uh, cicada, uh, happiness from the past and it's upside down. So what I'm getting from this, and this really, I can relate to this, but you can relate to it in your own unique way. So um, situations that have happened from the past or happened within the past are coming up front in some way. And Chewy, here, come on over here. He's gonna walk right in front of the camera, probably knock stuff over. Here, come on, sit, sit, good. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, okay, it's like the call from the past. When I think of cicadas or cicadas, uh, tomato, tomato, I think it is cicada, how you say it. Anyways, um, it, it's it's a very unique call and they're, they're usually in packs and you, it just reminds me of when I was in Roatan. It, the sound was so loud. There was so many cicadas. I, I couldn't see them, but I could hear them. And so it's like the, the call from the past and how it relates to what's going on in your present and to see the changes that, that you've been through, the, the shifting that you've been through. You've gone through a lot of healing. You're in a, a different place. And I think there, it might be some elements of disbelief. 
you know, when, when you look at the current situations or relationships, they are different. They are very much different, but there might be some fears that, oh shit, am I in the same type of situation here? And almost like some testing uh, to see if, okay, is this different? Is this really different? Are they gonna treat me the way I used to be treated? And there might be some elements of that. So it's helping you to break away from the old. And, but there, there would have been, here, sit, sit you. There would have been some elements in the past that actually um, were positive things as well. And so to have those elements within your life now could be beneficial. And it's like this sifting and sorting through relationships from the past, relationships in the present, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Huey, come on over here. Okay, again, we're gonna see what else comes in. He just is wanting to get his ass right in me <laughs> or right at me for rubbing. Okay. Komodo dragon. Strong survival instincts and impulses. Okay. See, we got his ass right there. You can see the tail. You know his ass is close. Okay. So Komodo dragon. When the Komodo dragon comes up, it's like a very powerful but um it's a very powerful energy that can be slow and controlled like with intensity like they're really heavy but they can also be very vicious and they can attack swiftly and devour and so when i think about the komodo dragon it's like this week is going to be a time of just, you got it. You got to follow these, these instincts. You got to attack when it feels right to attack. So, and what I mean by that is, you know, maybe you're going to apply for a job and you're not going to have but maybe much time or um, it's going to be a, um, it, it's important to act quickly so things will follow through quickly. Um, and you need to go with that instinct and just go with it. Make that phone call, send that email, get that thing done. Um, just follow your inspiration this week. Okay, so I just wanna take in all this information together. So we have the happiness from the past, but it's upside down. We have the Komodo dragon, strong survival instincts and self-reliance and practical pursuits. It's definitely an energy of taking action. And if someone from the past, uh, or a, maybe you had a job uh, from the past and an opportunity presents, um, it, <laughs> look at them in the background, man. Here. It, it's it's going to be the energy in, in in playing with what presents and, and and enjoying that energy and and moving with it. We definitely need to move forward with the energy. Now, in my case right now, I even though that card didn't come up, I'm just going to share. There's also going to be the importance of listening to your body. So going with your cycles and um yeah we can push forward but there might also be times where you need to slow down and step back just like with the komodo dragon even though it's strong it can clog slowly and then when it's ready go the energy will be there to go after it and and take it <laughs> so if you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, channel reading and healing session, you can check out my website, thejoyfulyogini.ca. Uh, you can also send me a DM depending on where you're watching this. 
And uh, if you want to join one of my yoga classes, uh, Tuesday and, and Thursday night, 745, you can join in person or over Zoom. So the Tuesday is a vinyasa flow. It's an all level. So you can take it for wherever you're at. And uh, like energy wise, uh, whatever your physical body is ready for at this time, you can make it your own. I have lots of alternatives in there. And the Thursday class is definitely, it's ramped up more. It's definitely about building strength and core. And, but again, you can just ease up uh, as you wish. So from my light to yours, have a beautiful week. Namaste, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.